It's test drive time again. This is pretty unique. It's a 1976 Ford Thunderbird. This one here's got the 460 under the hood. Power steering, power brakes, AC. Be checking everything out and seeing what works properly and what doesn't. In these videos, I actually point out the flaws. You can see all the good stuff. We're gonna be looking for rust, chips, scratches, dents. We're gonna check the interior out. I wanna see how it steers, how it stops. What happens when I floor it? We're gonna be doing a little bit of a long test drive here. It'd probably be, you know, a good hour of me actually test driving. You're gonna end up with 20 to 30 minutes of video time. But you can check out more details at maplemotors.com, such as financing and shipping, detailed pictures, and all of our inventory. You can see what we specialize in. We've been here 40 years, and I have thousands and thousands of videos out going over the cars that we've had. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this video. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Gigantic door here. Interior is beautiful. I and mean, look how they designed this. We'll go ahead and start her up. She starts up, she's quiet. I'll show you the mileage. We'll try some stuff out, such as the blower motor. We'll put it on AC. Yeah. Give that a second to try to cool off. We'll try the wipers. Yeah. Wipers do work. We'll try the radio. Yeah, that's working. What we got here? CB radio. It's not hooked up, but it looks like a nice little unit there. It's got like a shag carpet in it. How cool is that? Looking at the interior. AC is definitely not cold. It's hot air coming out of there. So it is gonna need work. AC will need to be checked. We'll cut that off. Turn signals, you can see it popping up here. You can see it popping up on this side as well. All right, place your bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a little game we play on the channel. I already know if it does, actually. Uh, what are y'all thinking? Works good. Pretty much all the way around. Okay, we're going to hit the road. We've got half a tank of fuel. We should be good on gas. Let's roll out. Seat belt. Nice and clean. Somebody really took care of this car. It is super nice. All right, we're buckled in. There's reverse there. Neutral and drive. Let's roll out. This is the first time that I have sat in this seat and drove this car down the road. Brakes are super touchy, so they're going to stop fast. I've seen if the old clock there work. Waiting on the rest of this traffic to get out of my way. So that we can test this thing out. Even the steering wheel is nice and clean. car had to sit in the garage it just looks like new on the inside the seat look at this all the seat controls there the rear tilt get you way up in the air look how low it sits mirror controls working and so is that one behind me cool nervous on the passenger side let's roll out of here Speedometer's coming up on the dash. Man, we are floating. Steering is nice. As soon as I turn, it turns. It does have a little bit of a right drift as we're going down the road. You can see me kind of floating to the side. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get in the throttle here. 460's cruising, man, back in the brakes. Brakes feel good. Trying our cruise control. 
control here. It looks like it's pulling. Getting it to cut off is a different story. <laughs> it's still pulling. There it goes. Pop the throttle. Get it stopped. Go ahead and pull over into the parking lot here. What we're going to do next, get some outside shots, some undercarriage shots. We'll check out the rest of the ride. I like to light up the undercarriage so you can really see everything. I feel like I'm sitting on grandma's couch. I'm not going to lie. It's super comfortable. It's just silky smooth turning. This car is pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. I like it. Okay, let's go ahead and get these outside shots and uh, continue this video. Okay, it's time to roll. Get my seatbelt back on. We're gonna get out of here. Went ahead and did the walk around here in a nice little shaded spot. Started getting a little humid today, which is perfectly fine because I'm loving the 80s. This car here, it's been excellent. It's just floating around. It's in really good shape for the year, especially the interior. The paint's got a great shine to it as well. When I did the walk around, I was Fairly impressed with the uh, paint on this one, because I'm sure it's original. This car's just been taken care of. The things that I did see wrong, the original clock's not working. Um, there was a little dent in the driver's rear quarter panel. And the AC is not working. That might be something that you want to get fixed because the blower motor and all that stuff's coming on and working correctly. I also couldn't figure out how to cut on this CV down here. 
may just be a fuse or it might not be wired up. This car does have a little bit of a right pull to it as we're driving down the road. A little bit of a right pull, it's nothing major. Steering's tight still, throttle feels good, brakes feel good. about this again yeah it's working it's pulling me let's touch the brakes and it cuts off so it is working you know I kind of felt like the throttle hung a little bit when we first took off and I was messing with this at the same time so that was bad timing <laughs> well, we'll check under the hood and make sure there's nothing getting in the way for that to happen but yeah it works look it's set pulling right now tap the brake that's good wonder what's going on up here they've got they got police and oh they got a stretcher out up there or something walking this ride looking for chip scratches rust and dents let's get started shape a chip there right here in the front too up top chip here at the bottom ding in the trim oh we got some damage in the back here mark here in the corner also there a little faded here in the back bumper. Coming back to your midsection. Ding in the gas cap. Little chip there by the lock. Little chip up top. I'm sorry, that's just where the tops overlap in there. There's always a siren going through here. Coming up on the back. The jam looks decent, the seal looks good. Down in your trunk, carpeted all over. Just lifting it up to look under, I mean, she's solid. Around the edges of your trunk lid.
Let's go ahead and come down with it. A little fade in here. And down this side. This car is in pretty good shape. That's for sure. I'm not seeing a whole lot of stuff that stands out. You had that little bit of damage on the driver's, driver's rear back there, but seriously things in good shape uh, no nope, spider web Guys, what an easy walk. Oh, chip right here. Been touched up. A little spot in the paint up here in the corner too. Let's go ahead and check out our interior now. Door panel looks good. Seats in great shape. Looks like shag carpet up in here too. Massive back seat. Like I said, this is super comfortable. This car reminds you of sitting in the living room. Little blemishes on the dash there. See where it's faded. Just massive too. Just massive hood. It's locked up good there. Ding right here in the trim. Guys, be sure to hit subscribe and share this video. 
You know I got detailed pictures, financing, and shipping. I say that in every video, and that's located at maplemotors.com. If you haven't went to that website, that's where you need to go to see all the information about our cars. These videos do help quite a bit, letting you know everything they need. I think I missed a ding right here. I don't remember pointing this out. A little dent here on the side. I don't know if it's going to pop up. It's just a tiny ding. Stepping back, I could kind of see it. It was in the passenger door there. Let's double check this side. This one looks all right. Just that dent in the back. But be sure to hit subscribe, share. You can give us a call, 615-822-4444, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.